So inside of our default dot handlebars, we need to include a new style sheet. I'm going to put this underneath the title. And we are going to put the style sheet href at the CDN for Bulma. So you can find the CDN by simply typing Bulma CDN into Google, and then you'll be able to add this to your href. At the moment, this is currently 0 0.53, but as time goes by, this version number will change. If you want to keep absolute compatibility with this course as it's being created, I would use 0 0.53. So when we refresh our page, you should notice something different. This is that everything now is the same size. You'll notice that inside of our index.hbs, we have this h1 and h2, but traditionally the h1 is bigger than the h2, but Bulma standardizes everything. This allows us to add a class of something like title to our blog title and we could define the description as a subtitle, thus allowing us to style our H1s through H anything and even stuff like P with different classes. Next, we're going to look at creating partial files. Partial files allow us to then break up our content. For example, we could take this header and move it out of this file. It's really important as we come to developing a scalable theme that not only us, but our end user can then edit. And this means smaller files that only do one thing are much more important. Let's take a look at that in the next video.